Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem The Secret Zone. So, last time we got my, I got my ass handed to me because of that goddamn berserk staff guy. Mm -hmm. Fuck these druids, like seriously. Like, this guy wasn't too bad, it was this guy here, and mm -hmm. like, oh my god, like he berserk Joshua, and then Joshua just wrecked Gilliam, and then he wrecked Garrick, and then Joshua suicide, so, yeah. Um, this time around, I've actually, um... I've given, um, let me see, I think I've given Restore Staff, yeah, I gave a Restore Staff to Loot, and I gave one to Lara Shell, so this time, they should properly be okay, but, like, I tried doing this map off camera to back up to where I started, but I died, I died, like, three times to so these goddamn Berserk oh, Staff guys, God. they are annoying, so, it's this time, it is... this, it's so yeah. stupid. So this time around, I'm just going to literally, like, I'm going to, um, rush to get, um, Renak as soon as possible. Like, I don't care mm -hmm. who I get him with at this point. Um, and, um, I'm going to get him, and then I'm just going to, like, wait, like, let these guys waste their most, or their berserk states, because mm -hmm. this chapter is garbage. And I'm going to be playing without animations for the majority of this map. That's fine. It's very understandable. Like, I've tried so many times. Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't think I'm playing this badly. It's just like these guys, these, no. it's the, these Berserk staff guys are annoying. And it's we've just already, a, we've already done these supports. Difficult chapter, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like the thing is, though, that the majority of Sacred Stones is, like, you know, easy. So when you go into this chapter, you're not expecting it to be this hard. And, like, I was playing pretty well, like, last time. It's just that, like, the end of it just like got like out of nowhere just like decided to like up its difficulty against me and i've also outfitted garrick with like some proper weapon system around like a hand axe and stuff okay so let's see this turn should be pretty well like See, good job, Ephraim. Okay, good. And it sucks because I've actually I got like a perfect level up with Arthur actually on one of my attempts. Oh damn! And somehow that oh wow okay that was quick. Somehow the Berserk staff guy actually berserked both Loot and Arthur. I was so shocked when it happened during one of my attempts. I was like, okay, this game is just being unfair to me at that point. <laughs> Like, you berserk both Arthur and Lee. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we got an armor slayer. I will actually... I think I'll hold on to that. So those armor knights up there are actually pretty hard to take care of. And I think this is actually um, Joshua's same armor slayer that he used to kill Gilliam last time. It would not surprise me. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. We got some fighters up here. I think uh, Ross with the hand axe. Yeah, okay, he can double them. Oh, god damn. Okay, whatever. Alright, well, that's Death's Rank now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep, okay. And, like, after this chapter, I think we start to get, like, some, like, the, like, whole, like, the really, like, um, like, the S rank weapons for, like, these places. Ooh, okay. Ephraim, just equip the javelin and Tana get close to him. Let's see. Oh wait, do I not have another javelin? Uh, I have one with nine uses, that'll do. Alright. So Renax should go after that um my chest. Okay, good job, Joshua. Taking care of the Myrmidons. Wait, what? Oh, okay, his steel sword broke. Oh. Alright, well, Ephraim and Arthur should kill the majority of these soldiers. 
I wonder if those spiders will... Yeah, okay, well that answers my question. Oh, nice job, Arthur. Hey, a sword reaver, nice. I think I'll actually send that to the convoy, though. Alright, and I think that's his lightning broken. Level up for Arthur. Speed and resistance, I'll actually take that. I do need resistance, yep, and there goes his lightning. And what sucks is that I can't actually um, uh, go back to the shop to buy like another restore set for Arthur. Because um, I only have two, and because I saved, <laughs> I actually I can't go back to the world map to buy like a restore set from oh. one of the shops. So I'm stuck with these two. Oh god, okay, they're really falling in. Alright, Ross, don't get hit here. Thank you. And I think what I'll do is I'll actually grab that sword reaver and I'll give it to Ross. Oh, I have a sword slayer? Oh my god, actually, I'll take that as better hit. Yeah, oh my god, he's gonna wreck these fighters if they go for him. Okay, let me just move in loot. Yes, good job. All right, and these um, archers will actually move in just enough to the door where he can actually attack them. Ah, uh, what? Ah, damn it! I don't double these fighters. All right, might as well go for damage. I mean, they can't even damage Gilliam. Oh, a hammer. Damn, that would have actually been... That would have done a lot of damage to Gilliam. Yeah, Can I get the hammer? Oh. Uh, I don't think... Uh, okay, yeah, they don't have... This guy... Okay, he's just a steel axe. We're fine. Okay, so they go for Ephraim. Wait, What? Oh my god, what? Ephraim didn't double that guy? Oh my god, he one-shot oh him. God. Damn, I didn't know, I knew it was gonna do a lot of damage, but I wasn't expecting that. Oh nice, skill speed resistance. Yes. Dead. Ow. Okay, so this guy I do believe has the door key. Yep, there it is. Miss and dead. Another armor knight. God, Arthur, thank you for being this good. Okay, so yeah, here come the longbow guys, and this is. I did expect this. Okay, nice. They both. Came. What? They do one damage to him? Damn. Oh no, this is the silence guy. Please, thank you, loot. Okay, good. She dodged that. Oh, this is the berserk guy. Oh my. What the? He can reach that far? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Luckily, loot, did, I did give her the restore stuff. And what do these guys have? Steel Lance and Steel Lance? Okay, so I'll have Cormag trade the door key around and I'll actually have him go and open the door. And Arthur, how does he. Oh my Jesus Christ, these guys are like evenly matched. Tana. Ah, uh, she actually takes a hit. I do want to move an Ephraim first though. Okay, good. So this guy from here, he has a Berserk range of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow, I was just in his range with Arthur. Oh, 
Oh, I do. Is that S rank? Uh, yep, that's S rank. Oh, wow. Down and dodge. Ow. Okay, now I'm a little bit worried. Alright, as for this guy, let's see. So he has. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so right here is where he can hit me. Right in front of those armor knights. Um. Okay, well, Garrick and I think Gilliam can just handle these guys. And this guy, I do believe... Yeah, he drops a buy ring, so I do not want to kill him, actually. And these guys just have... Okay, they just have steel lances, so what I'll do is I'll actually trade... Um, I will actually trade... Um, Joshua over to the armor suit, so he, if they go for him, he can just wreck them. And as for Gillian, I think I'll just have him literally just like solo those armor knights. Love for Larchelle, luck and resistance. Honestly, I will take it at this point. If she gets, like, if she gets silenced or slept, I'm kind of mm -hmm. fucked, actually. <laughs> no damage, nice. Like, I've never seen like the AI berserk like a unit that can f that cannot like fight back. That's the thing. And I'm gonna go for those chests after I get Renak and I waste these berserk stuff units you know, because the treasure isn't like the highest priority on my list right now. There's the door key, and I think I'll actually send the vulnerable to the convoy. <laughs> One damage? Are you serious, dude? Oh come my on. God. Miss. Damn. Dude, I think, uh, I don't think, I, don't, I wonder if Garrick actually would have killed this guy if he had the, because he has the Lance Reaver equipped right now. Ow. Okay, I think that, so this guy should try to silence one of my guys. I hope. Ow, and this is one of, wait, what? Oh, wait, I have the Hand Axe equipped, that's right. I didn't swap the Sword Star back around. Yes, okay, good job, Arthur. There's Renak. Uh Oh damn, he's okay, but I can restore her. Okay, he's gonna sit No, don't sleep, Laura Shell. Come on. Okay, thank you. Jesus Christ. No no no, no. do not you don't you dip No! Oh my god, are oh. you kidding me? Oh I hate this so much. These guys are so oh, annoying. God. They're out here playing 5D chess, bro. Seriously, you're gonna sleep my like. Oh my god, that's really annoying. I have to like, but he will go after the enemies. That's the thing. Oh my god, and I have like no way of healing my other guys. That's another thing. Okay, so... Okay, Battle Axe. Okay, good. Got that guy. Okay, please crits. Dodge. No, fuck. Oh, okay, of course, you crit. Second attack. The point, strength, speed, res. Thank you. Oh my god, and Tana got a good level up too. Ooh, Killing Edge. Okay, so 21, 17. Oh, damn, I really don't like that Killing Edge.
Okay, just open the door. Let's see. So he has a range of seven, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, I was just inside his range. Jesus Christ. Okay, thank you for critting, Joshua. Okay, I'll dance with Tethys, and I need to kill that... I need to kill that, um, uh... Bishop. Hit points, strength, speed, luck, rate. I got strength on Tethys? She got strength. Oh she has a 5% growth, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so 14 plus 6, that's 20. Okay, yeah, so they won't kill Garrick, actually. Don't miss Garrick, please. Thank you. Hey, nice, a Shine Tome. Okay. And this guy can attack. Okay, so I'll just move right here. Come back over here. Av, Joshua, recruit Renek. Oh wow, we're not gonna actually kill um, uh, that armor knight. Alright, well if that's the case, wow. then oh what? I don't kill the Okay, but I don't kill the killing edge guy, that's the problem. Okay, so 21 minus um eleven, that's ten. Okay, he won't kill Tana then. Don't miss. Thank you, Cormag. And I will give this kill to Renek. Good. Now back on over here. Uh, loots, I guess just run north. <laughs> and what sucks is that Bishop still has one more use on his, on his... That Druid still has one more use on his Berserk stuff. Oh. And I have no way of restoring on that side. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Seriously, stop. Okay, he's gonna Berserk Garrick. Luckily, I do have Larshawn range to help with that. Uh, oh no. Oh my god, nice. He actually dodged that. So, this guy should be out. Okay, yep, he's out of Berserk. And this guy has two more uses left. Jesus. Alright, so let me restore Garrick. So I don't have to worry about Lara Shah or any of the other guys getting berserk because they don't like target like staff users, mm -hmm. in my experience. And if they do, well I don't know what he's gonna be doing at that point, because Lara Shah <laughs> won't attack you. Okay, I know that was overkill. <laughs> This is the most accurate series. Oh my god, Garrick, what is with your skill? Okay, level up. That's the first level for Garrick. Hit point. What the? Only H. Aww. Oh, uh, I think Gilliam can kill this. Oh no, I don't think he can kill this armor knight. No, uh, okay, just a steal us. I'm fine. No damage, thank you. No matter who he goes for, he's gonna get wrecked. <laughs> and I need to keep at least one of these guys alive so that way, um, it, like Arthur doesn't go out after one of my mm -hmm. units. They really just said fuck you with this. Yeah, like, like damn. Like Arthur, I'm not really scared. I'm not really worried about him because. He won't really like suicide. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, if I if he, actually if I didn't have him with that shine tome, he actually because he would have broken his lightning. It would have just been unequipped. Seventeen minus ten. Okay, yeah, he'll live. And if these three guys go for three turns left of this, bro. Yeah, and loot has three as well. I 
And I'm worried that that, other, that this guy is just going to go to the right side. Okay, well, he can only berserk loot if he goes to the right side, so I'm actually fine with that. Tana, I need to heal her up. And sh and uh, with uh, Ross, it's the same thing. Oh, okay. I'm not risking trading. Alright, so Arthur should kill one of those bishops. Wait, what? Oh. I thought, wait, what? He's supposed to go after the bi- the Is he not- was he not in range? I'm pretty sure he was. Okay, well, good luck d trying to attack loot. <laughs> okay, I need to get an elixir on this side. And wait, why didn't- doesn't Cormac, like, attack you back? Oh my god, what the- what is this chapter? <laughs> The bane of our existence, bro. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. Okay, there we go. That's a Myrmidon down. And why didn't he... Oh, I guess if you're Berserk, he doesn't... Like, I guess our units don't, like, attack you back. Because I know if you Berserk the enemy, they attack, like... They attack you back, but right. I guess our guys don't. Okay, well, I everyone is fine. I really did not think about that. <laughs> Just did not think about that at all. What, that they would attack you back? Yeah. I don't know why. I, I was just like, oh, damn. They're gonna kill us. Not like, oh, we might kill them. Well, we should be fine now, because... Let's see, um... The Berserk Sapphire, I don't think he can go for anyone else, and he's only got one use left. I don't think anyone on the right side's in danger. Ah, uh, yeah, everyone's out of his range. Arthur really doesn't do that much damage in the first place. And I have plenty of, like, the convoys on that side, so I have plenty of, like, pure waters and, uh, vulnerabilities on that side. Oh, okay, and now he goes for the Dark Mages, so... I guess he wasn't in range that last time, then. Yeah, and I put Luna in range purposely because I know for a fact they don't do any damage <laughs> to her. Alright, level for Arthur. Let's see what he gets. Level 5, hit points, res. Damn, he's getting a lot of res. Okay, Berserk Garrick once again, and I'll just restore him. Okay, so that's all the Berserk saves taken care of. And God damn it. Okay, you know what? If these mages are gonna, if these shamans are gonna keep coming, I'm just gonna have, um, I'll just have um, Arthur take care of them. Dodge, thank you. Nice. Hey, nice, the door key. I don't really need that because I have Renak now. So he's berserked for just okay, so after this turn, he'll actually get restored. Thank God. Because I'm getting tired of this crap. Alright, let's restore Garrick. Let's see, how does he do against the mages? Ooh, okay. Well, he, do he doubles him, at least. Ow! Okay, I gotta heal him up. Okay, nice. Joshua one-shots them. Oh, I think that's S rank. Yep, he's at S rank in swords. Okay, so nice. So we have someone for the Al- He'll be able to wield his, um, the Aluhuma, I think it's called. Nice, good job, Arthur. Ow. Ow, damn. Miss, thank you, Arthur, for critting all these shamans. 
Oh my god, Jesus. Okay, both Arthur and Luna restored, so thank god for that. Okay, so how many uses does he have left of Shine? He has two uses left, and these guys just have Flex Tomes. Alright, well, there goes his uh, Shine. I'm gonna give him a new he... Shine now. Does he have no weapons now? Yeah, he's completely out of weapons. Oh god. Wow, D Gillian takes less damage than both Garrick and Joshua. Yeah, doesn't he have like 11 res or something like that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Joshua has 5 and Garrick has 6. Gilliam, of all people, having the most 11 res. res. It's unbelievable. It is. It really is. Okay, he'll blow our shell. I'm actually just glad that we're good. I actually see like the end of this chapter coming mm -hmm. soon. How? Oh, damn it. Oh, oh god damn it, I missed. Alright. <laughs> no damage. Are you serious? <laughs> no damage. <laughs> Okay, we're done with the reinforcements. Thank God. Okay, one shot. Thank you, Joshua. Alright, level for Joshua. First one, please get strength. Hit points, skill, speed. Right. <laughs> strength. No strength. Again. God. I am glad that I'm not using Marissa. <laughs> I hate to say yeah. that, but it's the truth. She got unlucky. Uh, I don't know if I, that's the word I would use. <laughs> Maybe mine just get very lucky then. <laughs> yes. It sucks, because I actually do want to use her, because I actually do like Marissa. But she just wasn't getting a lot of strength. Skip. What the? Okay, I'm done. Oh <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> this entire game, we have just not been getting very lucky. It's weird, our lords are like gods, and then the yeah. rest of the units are just like... <laughs> table scraps. Okay, well I guess I can just send Arthur back. Like he he's got no weapons and this guy's gonna do no damage so I could theoretic theoretically I could have this guy break his flux to on Arthur if I wanted to. Oh my god. I'm not gonna do it because it would take way too much time. And I think I'll send Ross and Calm actually down south to actually start go pilfering the treasure chest, actually. And Renek, I'll actually have him go and get that chest and answer the secret shop, because there is one on this chapter. Right, where that one archer is, right? Uh, yeah, it's like, I think it's either like, it's somewhere like down here. But I'm not gonna um, enter yet because I need to steal that guy's own body ring. I need that body ring badly. Wait, why did I? Oh my god, I moved Ross back up. I'm, I need, I meant to send him down. And I guess I'll send him there as well. Ooh, I don't kill this guy. Um, short spear? No, that doesn't do it. Oh, okay, nice. I can actually get grab myself a weapon for Arthur. Alright, 
Alright, Ephraim dodge, thank you. Okay, I know this is risky, but I'm gonna put Cormac in that guy's region. Hopefully he stays there because I don't want him to like draw back. Nope, god damn it, he went for, for Ephraim. Ouch. Oh, oh, okay, these guys are going for loons. That I do not have a problem with. I see they have chosen death. Miss. Dead. Thank you, Ross. I actually think I'm, when I get a Hummersa, I'm gonna Hummer in the hatchet, actually. Yeah. It's a really good weapon. Like, I can't say anything about it. I like the hatchet. It's a nice, like, burner weapon. Mm hmm. And, like, it has 50 uses. Mm hmm. Okay, so the. Longbow guy can reach me from here, so if I place Joshua there, he'll go for Joshua, and then next turn I can steal the body ring and just murder him. Uh, okay, this guy goes for effort. Oh, okay, I gotta heal him up. Yep, okay, there we go. So Joshua dodges, and then I can just steal with him, and I can get the body ring. And I know exactly who's getting that body ring. Yep. Ta Tana. Absolutely. Thank you. Alright, uh... Okay, Garrick, just murder him. <laughs> and, ah, oh, damn, okay, so I can't dance for, um, uh... Renak this turn. Alright, then I'll just send all the, the rest of my guys up here. And I know Lou for a fact is gonna have no problem against these armor knights. Arthur, heal up Ephraim. There we go. And that's a level for Ephraim. Oh my god, he's almost level 20. He points strength, oh luck, god. defense. Oh my god, dude. Oh, he's not going to cap speed, but he can't. He could theoretically cap skill, though. Joshua. God, what level is Lars? Level 7. Okay. So let's see. The secret shop is somewhere around here. I think it's right here. No. There it is. Alright, so it's... Uh, why would you ever buy a silver blade? Like, seriously. that These are just the Only worst stats. Only 15 ads. uses. Oh. Yeah, and it weighs 13. Mm, okay, so... Let's see, I think I'm gonna buy myself. Oh, oh. Oof, is it? Oh. Let's see, do we need any other promotional items? I think everyone's promoted, actually. Um. It isn't say, like, come pre promoted. I don't think there's anyone else that we need to buy promotional items for. The no, 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 wait. The Garde drops a nice crystal, so we don't need to buy that. Mm -hmm. So. And the Ocean Seal. I'm not gonna use calm. Yeah, I don't think we need any other promotion I think we're items. Good. Yeah, so I'll just buy actually these physics actually. That's one, two. I'll buy a killer bow for Innis, though I don't think I'm. Mm -hmm. I'll buy a killer axe, two killer axes actually. I'll buy two battle axes, two killer lances, and then I'll buy two killing edges, and I think that'll be good. And I do believe one of these chests sells, um, or not sell, one of these chests contains some gold. Like, 3,000 at least. Yeah, even with the hand I don't one-shot these guys. Damn, loot takes so little damage from these guys. I know they're armor knights, but still. Oh, dorky! I actually think I'm gonna keep that, so I'll send the barrier to the convoy. Because I'll use that to open the doors, and then come out just enough lockpicks to pick all three chests. And 
And I'm not gonna open that door until I get the, um, uh, chest. Like, I'm not gonna open the throne room. Right. Miss dead. <laughs> God. Dead. All right, open the door, and Calm can just murder this shaman. He has a Lumitum and he oh has no God. crits. What the? What? I uh, missed a 94. Are you serious? Oh, a chess key. Uh, I don't. I don't really need that because I am gonna use all my lock picks here. All right, and Renai needs to go and get that top chest, actually, because there is one, in, I did see one. That's a stance for him, and he should be able to get it next turn. Miss. Dead. God damn. Oh, what? Okay, I was not expecting that. Nice, okay. Damn, oh my god, my guys are so good. Alright, so let's get this chest. We have a guiding ring. Okay, well, we can sell that. So, wait, they sell you guiding rings even though you're gonna get one in this chapter? Okay. Yep. Uh, Angelic. Ooh, ho, 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 Ooh. man. I think Tethys might actually get that. So much good stuff. Yeah. Like we're gonna be like we're getting a knight's crest. We're getting a red gem from this guy. Like you get a lot of good stuff in this chapter. Like, in my opinion, you get better stuff in this chapter compared to the, to the Jahana chapter. Like in Erica's route. Yeah. I would agree, honestly. Oh my god! Seriously, do these guys just keep coming? I mean, they can try, but they're not going to stop Loot and Ross. <laughs> right. Yes. Like, one comes to the Loot and he has a 0% crit rate. 10,000 gold? Yep, I knew we got some money. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll just move Tethys in. Carmike has a door key, so I'm not really... So I don't really need, like, Renacker... Okay, seriously, guys, stop. You're just giving... You're literally just throwing your lives away. Eh, yeah, well, if you, one more comes, I will get a level up to loot. Alright, last chest. Hammer! Oh, I was just talking about that. Alright, and then I will open the door Man, next turn. Good shit. Okay, well, if they just keep coming, I mean, I don't mind. Like, this just gives the little level up at least. So she's now, what, level four? Yep. Hit points, magic, defense. Oh, what is with her defense? <laughs> What's her defense now? Eleven. She just got a oh point of it. Oh, my God. So, our armor knight has... Like as res. much res as Lu as our sage has defense. It's insane. Okay, oh, nice. good, jo good job, Ephraim. And this guy has just a Nosferatu. No, he has a Luna. This guy has a no This guy has a Nosferatu. Okay. Well, I'm not really worried about either of them because... <laughs> It's Cormag and Tana. Oh, I have. Oh, wait. No, I don't want that support actually. Because I'm not going to be using uh, Lara Show for much longer. Is it. Okay, so Lou has one with Kyle actually. Okay. Miss and dead. Oh, damn. Okay. Ow! Oh, jeez. Oh, what? Physic and... Thi oh, gee. Okay, I was not expecting these guys. Good thing I waited until I had everyone around to open the door. 
Okay, thank you for dodging, Joshua. Thank you for the red gem, and I will definitely sell that. Will I top off Cormac? Yep, okay. Okay, the gem ton of dodging. Oh, I could have moved Garrick there, damn it. I don't one shot them with the short spear. Dodge, thank you. Don't get crit, Cormag. Okay, thank you. Hey, nice. One shine with the steel blade. Thank you. And, okay, no reinforcements came out. Thank God. Okay, let's see. Do any more reinforcements pop out once again? Nope. Okay, it's just these guys left. Nice. And I think I'll just give this boss kill to Ephraim because he'll cap... Uh, how's he do? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, this guy's tough. Damn it, Gilliam. Oh, man. Oh, what? Oh, he can't with the hammer. Okay. What's his rank? Uh, oh, he ran. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I think Garrett can wield it. Yeah, okay. He can wield the hammer. Oh, cool. Oh my god, I cannot believe we're almost at the end. I can see it in sight. Alright, so I do want to see the... Oh wait, I should have turned on the animations. Regarde, why did you invade Rene? Why did you kill my father? Answer me, Regarde. So you really have lost hold of your senses, haven't you? Ow! Okay, now I'll turn back on animations. So let's see, Renak, I'll turn on his. And I do believe we get like the really good like boss music when, when we fight Bagarde. I think so. All right, do we get it? Oh fuck, he's on the throne, I forgot. <laughs> Yep. God, I love this music. It's so good. Oh, he's so close. Okay, so after this, he'll actually like cap out. Oh, what? Oh, come on, oh. Ephraim. Dude, you just cap out already. Seriously, you're dragging this out longer than you need to. Oh. Alright, cap out Ephraim. Please cap out skill. It points skill defense, he kept skill. Nice. 
All right, now let's get him out of there. And now I can just have like all my armor special units get, like just take him down. Hit points and speed luck. Thank you. All right, there's my last heal. And how does Garrett do with the hammer? Oh my god, he just wrecks him. Yeah, he doubles him. It's game over. Game over. Now, his hit rate is a bit shaky. That's the problem. Ow. Please. Come on, Garrick. I need some good hits here. Come on. Please hit. Please hit. Nope, that's not. Nope, nope, nope. That's not how you do it. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Nope. And Arthur, Jesus Christ, what is with this guy's skill? How does Joshua do? And Joshua fares better, but not by much. Gillian, oh my god, Gillian doesn't even do damage to him. This guy's scary. I might need to bring in loot, actually. That's it, Luke. Get your get up here. If, you, if I'm if I'm not if I'm not able to kill him by the time like Luke gets up here, there's something wrong. I'm really hoping Joshua will be fine. Like I'm scared about these low percent crits this guy has. That's the problem. Alright, here we go. Oh god. Ow! Come on, Joshua, please. Please. No, stop! Okay, thank you. I got a hit on him at least. Let's see how this goes. He heals up 7, 8, 5 HP. Damn it. Ow. Stop. Come on, Joshua. I need some crits. A crit? Oh. No? Okay, well, you hit both of these. She's slowly making her way there. No, I... I didn't mean to do that. Oh. I thought you had a hand. Oh, wait, I traded it away, didn't I? Yeah, okay, damn it. Uh, oh my god. I didn't realize it was going to be this tough to kill. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, what rank is that? That is B rank. Oh, okay. And do I have, like, any, like, armor effective, like, lances? I have... Ah, uh, I do have the Heavy Spear and Reagan Leaf. Shit, my laptop's gonna die. Hold on. There we go. I was wondering why my stream was lagging. It's like, oh, my oh, wait, laptop's here. dying. Oh, okay. I thought I was something I'm like my because I did just no, recently have good. a, I did recently just have like a storm blowing. That's the thing. Oh yeah, how was that? Uh, it was like a light like um storm. Like it wasn't anything like too heavy. So thank God. Oh okay. Oh, okay, so with Arthur in range, that actually lowers uh, his crit chance. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh my god, I can only imagine how good that A support with Natasha would have been. 
All right, here we go. Come on, Joshua. Please. Don't miss. Nope, that's missing. Okay, I gotta hit it at least. Damn. Oh my god. The thing is, I think I can kill him this turn. Garrick, please kill him. Come on, Garrick. Please. Come on. Come on. Why? Come on. His hit rate is not that good. Thank you. Oh my god, we got him. Hey. Yes. Thank you, You're Garrick. Thank you. Fuck you, Big Artie. Hit point skill res. I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> and we got Kyle's Knights, Chris. To get one last good in heal and let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I want to be done. All right, level for Arthur. So he's level six now. Yep. Skip. Okay, I'll take it. Get out of here. Thank God. What is this? Picard's corpse. It, it disintegrated. It must be some type of dark magic. Regardless, the capital has been captured. I'll lead up patrols to the castle. There, there may be enemy soldiers remaining. I'll go with you. Leon may be somewhere within the castle. Hello, Ephraim. I've been waiting for you. Looks like you've beat my father. I thought you might. You really are powerful, aren't you? Leon, is that you? Leon, you must tell me what has happened here in Grotto. Why are you in this place? Your father, Emperor Vigardi, why didn't you stop him? Don't pay, don't tell me you're caught up in this madness too. Answer me, Leon. You always told me you wanted what your father wanted. Peace. I, 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 uh. Let me tell you something, Ephraim. I've been waiting for this moment for a very, very long time. I will make the world grottos no, my plaything. I've been playing this my whole life. Why else would I befriend you and Erica? I need to learn where and how to attack and destroy Renee. Thanks to the two of you, I learned all I needed to know. Why you feigned compassion for my weaknesses scorn me in your hearts. What? Leon! You're wrong, we never... And then my chance arrived. I replaced my useless father, ready my tools to set my plan in motion. I began by destroying Renee, and then I murdered your father. You... You lie, Leon. You could never. Shall I tell you a story? Would you like to hear of your father's last moments? You'll laugh, really. Your father's such a weakling, and yet he tried so hard. Leon, no more insults to my father, or I may forget myself. Oh, are you angry, Ephraim? But not even you can stop me now. The sons of Freyli and Rene are dust, and Johannes is soon to follow. Which leaves only two more. I'll destroy them at one at a time. I shall see my dream fulfilled. What? Ephraim, you aren't in my way, therefore. Ah, How bothersome. I truly do wish to be your opponent, but I'm not yet at full strength. Let's meet again, shall we? Assuming you live, of course. I'll grant you the honor of dying in my hand, like father, like son, eh? Reporting in, sir, we found a cell in the back. There, there were captives. Hey. Who is it? Ah. Has my execution been moved up on the schedule? Wait, you're not a Grotto soldier. Who are you? I am Ephraim of Renee, and who are you? That's another question for an executioner. My name is Null. Until recently, I was one of Grotto's top researchers in arcane matters. So why is it you are locked up here? You need not answer if you do not wish to. Tell me, what is Leon attempting to do? I still have things I intend to ask him. You wish to speak to Prince Leon? You really don't know anything, do you? What do you mean? Is there something wrong with Leon? What do you know? I'll tell you all I know if I, if you would like. However, I think you will not thank me once you hear it. It all began one year ago. That was when the Emperor died. The Emperor's health worsened, and then he... Oh, what are you about? One year ago, that's before Grau's invasion of Rene began. And I just saw the Emperor. I killed him with my own hands. Allow me to continue in the order in which everything occurred. One year ago, the Emperor died of the illness that had plagued him. Prince Leon was devastated. He fell into an endless despair. He felt unworthy to take the throne, unable to rule without his father. 
He then began to look for a way to overturn his father's demise. He wanted to re resurrect him. Wait, resurrect him? Yes. As you know, the Son of God is possessed of unique powers. It was once used to seal away the Demon King, and it alone held the Dark One's soul. It burned with the Demon King's rage, and we called it the Fire Emblem. Prince Leon and a team of mages skilled in the arcane lore hoped to harness its energies. I remember the joy in Prince Leon's eyes when he spoke of using it to save lives. Neon. Prince Leon told us he intended to use the Fire Emblem to restore the Emperor. His death had been kept from the public, but rumors were beginning to fly. We knew we had to hurry before the people learned the truth of the Emperor's death. Prince Leon dedicated himself to research, scooping males, foregoing sleep, and then... What happened? I wasn't there, so I did not witness it firsthand. By the time I arrived, the deed had already been done. The fire on them had been shattered, split in two. One was the Sacred Stone, and the other... Sorry, I had to take a sip. Ugh. Oh, you're good. Prince Leon, what's happened? Prince. Oh, hello, it's you. What was your name again? Ah, yes, no, you're one of my researchers. I'm glad tidings. I'm glad tidings for you. My father is back. Emperor? Come, father. Open your eyes. Your Your Majesty, this is incredible. Prince Leon, what miracle is this? It cannot be. But what is that stone? This, this is the Dark Stone. It bears even more power than any sacred stone. I extracted and condensed all of the magic bound within the Fire Emblem. The Dark Stone's power is what gave my father back the spark of life. The Dark Stone? Now that the Dark Stone is mine, I have no need for this empty husk. Mm. But Prince Leon, the Secret Stone, what have you done? They are all in the way. The Secret Stones are mine, I mean. Four more remain, and they must all be destroyed. Oh, the only stone we need now is, the, is this dark stone of mine. After that, His Majesty ordered the invasion of Renee as Prince Leon asked him to. Father McGregor grew concerned with Prince Leon's health. He tried several times to dissuade him from his path. Prince Leon executed him personally. We never meet this McGregor guy, though. No, we don't. I too was brand new trainer on Russell. My execution was scheduled for tomorrow. Leon, where is he now? With that I knew. Prince Leon frightens me now. He is transformed. He's... Leon is my friend. This way, Prince Ephraim. I believe it's here. What is? What is this place? This is the former resting place of the Stone of Grotto, the Fire Island. We've kept the sacred twins of Grotto here as well. If we're still lucky, they may still be here. Sacred Twins. Those are the ancient weapons once wielded by the founders of our nations. Let's see if I remember my studies. Emperor Grotto's were the magic tome at Glampnir and Garb the Battle Axe. So the dark, so the so the dark magic tome and the, yep, and we get the axe. That's correct. You know your history well. Yeah, something I learned long ago from Leon. Well, let's see if they're still here, shall we? They are. What's up from here? I found the Sacred Twin relics, and here they are. Yet I don't understand. The sacred stone was destroyed, but these were left untouched? Why? I know not. Perhaps... No, never mind. It's an idle thought. Prince Ephraim, please take these relics with you. Is that alright? Yes, I want you to have them. And maybe... Maybe someone else wanted you to have them as well. So yeah, we get Gleipnir. So yeah, pretty good uh, S-Rank oh, wow. tome. It weighs a ton, but this its might and hit are incredible. But Jesus Christ, 20 weights, like, you're not doubling with this. Like, no, you're not ever. doubling. No one, not you and, and not no. And we get Garn, which this is really good too. Like, 5 speed. Mm -hmm. Speed and, plus 5. Oh and God. I think um, Ross can win this with like 1 or 2 speed penalties. So this mm -hmm. is perfect for him, actually. And 20 by 2. Prince Ephraim. You've come at a good time, soldier. I want you to take a message to Freylia. Actually... We've received dire news from Jahana. It's about Princess Erica and Prince Innes. They're under attack by Grotto forces, led by Tiger Eye and Moonstone. Erica. Kalak, Tiger Eye, and Walter Moonstone. They're supposed to be the most powerful of Grotto's Imperial Generals. 
for them to abandon the capital and lead the battle to Shahana. The Knights of Rauston have ridden to the Eastern Front to aid Prelia, but the enemy attacks have been brutal. I fear for their survival. We march for Shahana immediately. We will rescue Erika. But even if we leave now, we will not make it in time. We'll make it. Rest easy on that. Erika is my sister. That one will never lay down her blade. And I am Erika's brother. There is no way I'll let my sister die. He's not wrong. I mean, she does, like, they do make it in time. Mm hmm All right, and God damn it! This monster's blocking the way back to shops. Anyway, so yeah. Um, now um, let's uh give up. Wait, what? Oh wait, my convoy's oh, full. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, we have to talk about um. Uh, we have to talk about Null. So first things first. Where is? There she is. Okay, you know what? Screw this. You know what I do? I literally just fill up. My benched units. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm a doing. second convoy. Yeah, that's what I do. It's it's so funny. It's like I mean they're not. I mean they do help out a little bit. Like they're being good bench warmers. Okay, so I really don't think we need this getting ring. Like we could promote Natasha. <laughs> And let's see, I do, uh, oh, what about, oh, oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, yeah he's level 10. So yeah, let's actually talk about no. Let me pull up his growth is actually. Zero luck. Yeah. Man is the unluckiest guy out there. So let me see, where is my growth rate? God, I should have actually like prepared for this. No, stop. Where the hell is it? Uh, notes, don't fail me now, okay. Ah, here they are. Okay, I just need to scroll down to null. See, okay, he's all the way at the bottom. All right, so yeah, uh, null is uh, the first uh, dart messages you get. Well, second, if you actually train you to be a shaman, I don't know why you would do that. Null, in my opinion, is an okay unit. The problem that I think holds him back is his speed and luck. Like, he has a 35% speed growth and a 20% or, yeah, 35. Wait, what? No, yeah, 35% yeah, speed, 20% luck growth, and 10% defense growth. His magic and res are okay. Like, like they're around like, they're like 45% res and 50% um, like magic. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're lucky with Noel, he'll actually hit like a truck, and he is pretty good. And if I have, and what you can do is that you can is what I'm gonna do. Is I'm actually going to promote him into a summoner so that way he can actually like summon like um 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 phantoms. And the great thing about phantoms in, in um Sacred Souls is that they all is that the enemy always goes after them no matter how low yes. your unit is, which is so good. So if you actually promote Ewan and Noel, you'll have two summoners, and they're the only two that become summoners in this game. So yeah, I think the fact that Noel can actually become a summoner, which is better than a druid, I do think he loses out on, like, let me see, if he promotes, we get that guiding ring. I'm pretty sure he can use like all magic types as a summoner. Uh, he loses out on anima, but honestly, the fact that he can summon, I think is enough to warn him five stars. Like the summoning of, sh of phantoms in this game is so powerful. The reason why mm -hmm. I rate you in so low is because you have to go through so many, you have to jump through so many hoops to get him the summoner that I just don't think it's worth it at that point. No, yeah. in my opinion, is like you can promote him right away. And honestly, no matter what stats he gets, the fact that, that he can summon is enough for my rating of five stars for him. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, similar to what you said, he's just a very decent unit. Like, the epitome of just being okay. He's not bad. Not gonna turn out bad. But like you said, um, he can hit like a truck later on. Um, and he's a prime candidate for an early promotion because like you said, all those things about summoned units, how they're literally just meat shields. Um, I think because he has the potential to become a summoner, I'm gonna give him a 4 out of 5. Okay. Um, just cause like, I mean, I've used him and he's been good. 
like as either a druid or a summoner but he's not like oh my god you have to use this unit it's busted you know type of thing like with loot yeah like i'm like i am completely like maybe my opinion is kind of biased but i do think as him as a summoner like if i have a spare spot like i'll definitely bring him right and i'm gonna promote him right yeah, now because he's, he's great for that yep and i do like how i do love his voice actor in heroes david mentrega mm -hmm. i wish he was better in heroes <laughs> Yeah, and he, oh wow, he gets some decent promotion Not gains, bad. too. And he could, yeah, I like, the fact that he, too. Mm -hmm. and the fact that he could heal and summon is just yeah. enough. That's another, now we really don't need to bring Lara Shell. Yeah. So, but the thing is, though, I have, like, she has to, like, All but, the well, the, the thing is, though, that he does have E rank and save, whereas Lara Shell has C, C rank. Almost B. She's, yeah, she's about to get B. Um, I guess I'm just gonna fill up my other units because, like, I have, like, no room in my convoy now. Oh, I have an Alfire Tome? Yeah, I'll take that, actually. And Ephraim's capped out. Like, that's another thing that sucks. <laughs> like, he's not gonna get his promotion for, like, another two chapters as well. Mm hmm. I'll fire and a fresh fire tome. There we go. I don't think I even need the restore stuff now because we're done with like the sasses. Wait, what? Why can't I wheel physics? Is it what physics B rank in this game? Are you serious? Is it really? Uh, apparently it is. Uh, yeah, I thought it was C for some reason. And what rank is Hermione actually? Uh, C Hermione C? Okay. Oh yeah, let's promote Kyle now, actually. So, let's see. Let's promote him. I actually don't even know what we... We didn't ever decide what we were promoting him to. Like, mm -hmm. so we have Paladin, Grey Knight. I think... What are his stats like? Oh wait, I could have just checked right there. I think he's going to work better as a Grey Knight, in my opinion. Like, he'll make a great, good Ducell mm -hmm. replacement, actually. Yeah, either is good. I think. The weapon triangle control will be nice. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. It looks pretty good. This is actually like one of the few times I've actually promoted Kyle because <laughs> I don't really use. Yeah, him. I don't use him for con. Wow. Damn. All right. So yeah, I mean. Uh, compared to Ducell, like, uh, oh, so he's got more strength, one more skill, two less speed, same luck, two less defense, and three less res. But the thing is, though, um, Ducell's level eight, and they have the same hit points, so I think Kyle's gonna turn out way better than Ducell once I give him some levels. Mm -hmm. I'm just filling out my convoy because I have, like, no room. <laughs> All right, so let's give Tana that um, bottom ring. There she goes. So now she has uh, eight cons. So now she can actually wield the... So now she can actually wield most weapons without... Like, she can wield an iron as well, losing speed at least. And let's see. I don't think there's. Oh yeah, the angelic robe. I think I want to wait until we get some. Uh, um, the, um, Erica back until we mm -hmm. like decide to use, until we decide to actually use that. If Erica's hit points are good, then I'll actually give it the test. If not, then it goes to Erica. I think they're the only two that I'm actually gonna warrant using it on. All right, and I do think that's uh, I'm a, and I'm gonna go back to Tizo and actually buy another um Hermoon or not Hermoon um restore staff mm -hmm. because I only have like I do no no, no I am not buying up Luna I didn't realize it was that much forty two thousand or forty two hundred no screw that 
All right, what I'm gonna save is, I'm gonna save here, and we're gonna do the uh, Erica prologue, okay, or chapter, okay? All right. All right, let me just make a cut here.